Hi, welcome to another new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about Shire Green. So Shamika Horidum um, has came out with uh, the super granulating colors. Um, and this color is part of the Shire uh, series of granulation, super granulation colors. There are five colors in the Shire series and we talked about the Shire Olive uh, previously over here. You can click on the link to watch the video about it. So this is the very close color of Shire Green. Um, olive and green pretty close. So this color is made from two pigments, um, the PY159 and PG18. So PY159, as we know, is volcano yellow. And I've reviewed this over here. Um, uh, and Viridian, uh, PG18 is Viridian. So PG18 is that kind of a granulate. It's kind of soft muted green. It's like PG7, but not as not as strong in your face and, and staining. So Viridian is a very soft color that it's um, that has this turquoise green color. That's very nice. So together, I think I managed to get quite a nice, um, I think it's pretty quite a good dupe. Except this one probably looks more green than, this one looks a little bit more blue. So I may have actually used more Viridian. I would say it's a common color. It's more expensive than PG7. So most of you might have the PG7 in, the, in your palette. So, um, it is supposed to be a transparent color. It is. It has excellent light fastness, five stars, um, and it is supposed to be staining, like highly staining. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is true. We will. We will try that. Okay. Later on over here, we try to scrub that off, and of course, it's granulating. I will test it out over here on the left hand side. And what I'll do is I'll do a swatch um, of the color and normally from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. So you could actually see um, whether how dark that mess tone is. And here we are going to test out um, their, their um, transparency. So as you can see, we have the line um, that I've drawn before I painted. Um, and I'm going to draw a line underneath. And you can, when you compare the darkness of the lines, um, you can actually see that the line above, which was uh, drawn before I painted, uh, there was there's a it, it it got obscure. It's a little bit covered. You can see that it's covered with the with a yellow pigment. So if you are using it really strongly um, at a high concentration, you you would cover the line. So if you're doing a uh, ink and wash, be quite careful about it. Um, not try not to use too much of the color because it's that's gonna cover up. Um, so I, whether it's transparent or not, I think really depends on, on how concentrated you use it. So at this high concentration, it's definitely, there's some coverage and it's probably not like a total 100% transparent, semi-transparent, I would say. Um, but it does, you can see that separation of like a really dark, like the really, you know, strong big particles of that yellow, the volcano yellow at the top, when you have it really strong. So when we look at the, um, Paint in water test, that, that you, can, you can actually see that, that yellow pigment, the bigger yellow pigment, uh, the PY159 dropping down, and then that viridian just kind of like move out, spread out around it. Um, so you get that nice separation with the yellow and the green. Pretty similar to what you see in the olive, um, except that now the viridian is, is a darker green color. And in the uh, water in pigment test, you could also see this effect where, you know, the water goes in and it just pushes out the, the viridian faster than, than it does the, the volcano yellow. And you see this nice backwash, um, this ring of viridian around it. So now we are going to try to uh, scrub off the colors, flat brush and just kind of like gently. <laughs> I, I don't think this is gentle. Um, try to scrub off the color. So uh, this is with the first scrub. Um, I'm able to remove some colors, but as you can see, the Viridian, for some reason, um, is kind of sticking to the, to the paper a little bit more. Um, so I don't think it's highly staining, but it is still staining, uh, maybe like a medium staining. That green is still there. And then when we look at the gradient test, where we uh, put uh, the, when we drop the paint, down a gradient uh, of water, strip of water, you could also see that the gravity just pulls down uh, the viridian particles, the smaller ones like quickly and you could see them all at the bottom and that uh, volcano yellow just kind of stays at the top because it's pretty heavy. 
All right, so that's about the um, our test um, pigment test, and next we go to the right side where we look at how the mixtures of colors, what we can mix with it, and compare it with other similar supergranulating separating colors that we have seen or will see. Um, so in a mixture where I I mix this color, um, this paint with twelve colors of the color color wheel. All right, um, you can see that it's in fact adding like a, a green. Uh, I think it's more adding a green than, than a yellow because I, I don't really see much of that yellow. Um, a green to all these colors. Um, and you can see that at the end, you know, when you have a, like a, you know, a large concentra huge concentration, more of that green, most of these turn more green, like maybe the yellow um, and also like the blues and the, the greens. Blues, greens, yellows do turn green. And then those um, colors that are like more warm, or the complementary colors, they turn like brown, brown and um, a little bit of like an olive green color. So this is this is what you can get when you mix it. Um, I, I would like to highlight some of these mustard yellow, like the, the quinacridone gold does give you quite a nice range. I love mustard yellow, like <laughs> I always have to bring out the mustard yellow. So this is a nice uh, olive green mustard yellow color um, here as well, with the orange. Um, and with the... Um, you do get with the with the purple. You do get this like kind of interesting brown color, um, yeah. But um, if you like green, um, diff mixing different sorts of greens, you do can actually just drop this to all the greens and yellows, and you get like a whole range of different greens. Even the blues, you get a lot of greens. So if you are painting, um, as I said, as the same same as uh, the Shire Olive, if you are painting a lot of uh, plants, landscapes, trees leaves uh, this is a color that you can use um the only difference is that the green is a little bit dark, more more green more more in your face green than than the one that we have in our shy olive so this is something that you 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 want to like kind of this is a difference and something that you want to take note of and when you compare it to the other colors um i do compare it with the super granulation colors in the in the shaminka series and you do have the shire olive which is a little bit more subtle uh more yellowish so it has this olive kind of look. And then when we look at the other greens, we have forest green, forest brown. Yeah, forest brown is a little bit more green than, than it's brown. And then the glacier green, they, they are the different other greens. And I wouldn't say they are co completely the same. They are not. Um, yeah, but the closest is probably Shire Olive. Um, and of course, I think um, when we look, look at um, super granulation colors, layering, co layering colors, we also have the colors from Supervision. Um, I, I, I do, they do have this color called yellow green, not close, but it's also a green and it's also a green plus yellow kind of a, a mixture. But this one, the green is so strong, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's not as subtle and, and it doesn't have the beautiful like um, particles as the Shire green. So yeah, let's go and see uh, what we can do with this color uh, when I use this on, in a short front painting. So this is what I've done for the short front painting um, and this is a place called Miracle Day Spa. Um, this building is primarily white in colour uh, except the uh, windows and some of these are uh, tiles here and the top being green and of course we have the ubiquitous uh, last recycling bin. So I use the shire green in these places. They do have spots where like, like you know have do a little bit of like plants growing on the side of the building. Um, I don't think I really mix much, probably a wee bit uh, with uh, some of the blues to, to get a darker green for some of these portions over here. And I might have uh, mixed it with uh, some of the browns to get, or, or yellows, or reds to get, get the uh, frames here over here, and also the bottom. Um, I, I didn't see much of the yellow, yellow um, color, except I, I think you can still see, you can see wee bits of that yellow. Um, when I use it neat. So when you are just mixing it with water and just using it neat on its own, you, you do see that yellow coming out very strongly, um, especially um, here when it's used neat. But when you mix it, you don't really see much of it, um, or perhaps a little bit. So yeah, it's, it's nice to introduce yellow texture to it. If you have something that has yellow texture um, with a green, this is something that you can use. We've come to the end of the video. Um, as always, um, uh, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to see similar content, do subscribe. Let me know what colors you want me to, to showcase or to, to review because I think um, super granulation colors or granulating colors are getting more and more popular. 
um, probably at the peak of its like popularity. We've seen a lot of brands coming out with their super granulation colors like White Knights, and I think um, other brands like the, the Chinese brands like the My, My Tini, Martini, and also a Japanese brand Kusakabe are coming out with their own ones. So um, yeah, do let me know if there are a specific ones that you've seen are very special and you want me to review, right? So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!